All right, now we are leading to the fun stuff. What is your secret to your success in school? How do you balance your life with med school? Should I pursue med if I'm not 100% sure of it? Hey guys, it's Feline and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be answering all the medical school related questions you guys asked me on that Instagram sticker I posted on my Instagram story a few days ago. But before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. So yeah, let's get started! So the first two questions are very similar. The first question said, if you didn't proceed to med school, what would be your profession? And the second question was, if you didn't take the med route, where would you be? Easy question. I would have been an FBI agent that tries to solve crimes. Thank you, Criminal Minds, for influencing this decision. But realistically speaking, I probably would have done engineering if I wasn't in med school. Number three, how do you balance your life with med school? Um, I don't think my life is balanced. I guess the way I balance life with med school is that I prioritize which ones are more important for I guess that day or that week. I list them all down, I make a to-do list, I prioritize, and then I just go down the list. That's how I balance life. But personally, I don't think my life is balanced, so. Number four, how was your life that how was your lifestyle as a medical student? It depends. When I was on the island, everything revolved around studying. I woke up, I had class, 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 lunch, I had a few hours of free time, and then we had any type of clubs that we are a part of, and then after the clubs, we have TA sessions. So that was how my day was at Antigua. But now that we are back home, school is online. I don't have a routine. I make sure that I wake up before class and then at night that's when I try to study because I feel more productive at night and I feel like I retain the information better. Next question was, how was the transition from a bachelor's at UCLA to an MD at AUA? Honestly, the transition wasn't that bad because I feel like UCLA actually prepared me for medical school. Especially for our foundations block, which consisted of molecular bio, cellular bio, genetics, biochem, all that fun stuff. I learned most of it in my lower division classes at UCLA for my major, and those classes were also a requirement to apply to medical school. Two so, Bruins. Last question on this category is what fun things do you do to de-stress? I do a lot of things to de-stress. First, I try to go on nature adventures with my family. Aside from that, I sleep, I nap, I watch Netflix, I binge watch Hulu. I binge watch a lot of shows. Don't recommend if you're a med school student because, because you won't have time for other stuff. But yeah, I play PUBG, I play Sims. I recently downloaded Among Us, so I play that game a lot too. Uh, eat, go boba hopping, go food tripping. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to de-stress and those are a lot of the things I do. Because med school is stressful in general. Moving on to the next category, there's two questions and it is my study habits. So the first question says, what are your study habits and what materials work for you? My study habits, I currently don't have one at the moment. I used to back on the island, but since we are back in the United States and our school is online, I feel like I don't have any study habits just yet. But as for materials, I use my iPad to write over the lecture notes but I still like having colorful pencils and highlighters and a notebook 
for my actual actual notes that I used to study and memorize off of and like I said earlier I am a night owl and I like to study at night I feel more productive at night and I feel like I retain the information better so I guess that's one of the study habits that I have um what is your favorite study aid as of right now I am using the Kaplan study USMLE step one study set I have the videos. I got the videos from an upperclassman and I watch the videos and take notes on the actual books. That one has been really helpful. Like the week before an exam, I like to glance over boards and beyond. And then I was actually chosen to be a USMLE RX student ambassador for my school. I've been trying out their website and it seems promising. So. <laughs> On the website, they have Rx Bricks, where I guess it's like a checklist of your goals that you have to do. I won't go into detail about that because that's something new on their platform. But I, I love the Q Bank that they have. I like watching the videos that is available to us, and they also have pre-made flashcards that go in sync with the USMLE first aid book. Ooh. And the last section is the advice section. The first question is, what is your secret to your success in school? I don't think there's a secret. Is there a secret? I don't think I have a secret. <laughs> But I'll tell you the things that I actually do. So number one, I don't overstudy. Number two, I don't overwhelm myself with information or stress about things that are coming up. I like to do a checklist. I prioritize them. I do them based on their priority. And then I just go from there. I don't like stressing out on things that I could control. So, yeah. And make sure you de-stress. So, like, do something fun. Because you don't want to be studying 24-7. Because if you study 24-7, you won't retain anything. Second question was, I was wondering if you have any advice for MS1 students to best prepare for the first semester. The best way to prepare for medical school is to mentally prepare yourself that you will be studying constantly 24 7 just kidding you're not gonna be studying constantly but you will be needing to learn a lot of these information in a short amount of time in the next eight years seven to eight years depending on what residence you're going to but you need to mentally prepare yourself that med school is going to take a lot of your time a lot of your effort a lot of events because you won't be able to attend a lot of the events that is happening, that will be happening when you're in med school. But mentally prepare yourself. Also try to physically prepare yourself, socially prepare yourself, emotionally prepare yourself. Just prepare your inner you for med school so you can succeed. Because you can prepare academically but do you really want to prepare academically? I mean, I guess you can. But I did not do that, like, based on my situation. I only had, like, an, a month and a half of break from undergrad to medical school. So that wasn't an ideal situation if I still studied. So I try to enjoy my time before I start medical school. Third question. How does it feel being a med student? Any advice for future med students? As of right now, I don't feel any different as a med student. I still feel like I'm an undergrad sometimes just because we are still doing lectures, we're still doing labs, we have small group homeroom. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel any different just yet, but I'll come back to this question when I'm in my clinical years and I'll let you know how it feels like to be a medical student but yeah I feel like it will be a great and fun transition 
from basic sciences to clinical sciences. So, yeah. And the last question for this video is should I pursue med if I'm not 100% sure of it? No. Okay, maybe you can. Who am I to tell you no? <laughs> but in my opinion, there you go, because in my opinion, if you are not 100% sure, do not go to medical school. Because medical school will take a lot of your time, a lot of your effort, a lot of your strength. So if you're not really passionate about this career, maybe try to do something else. Because you're just going to be wasting a lot of time and effort if you try to pursue medicine and you're not even 100% sure about it. I mean, you can still pursue it, but you might not be happy with it at the end. So it's still your call. Just do whatever makes you happy. Also, you don't want to put yourself in a position that your journey to start or even be a part of medical school be one of your what ifs in the future. You don't want to regret not starting. You don't want to regret not applying. So, yeah. So, I would suggest in this situation, try to apply to medical school. And then if you get accepted, maybe that's when you have to take a step back and then analyze your situation, weigh the pros and the cons, and see if you're willing to sacrifice a lot of your time and effort to start medicine if you are not 100% sure. Yeah. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a like, comment down below any questions you want me to answer, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!